Okay, so uh, moving on to the next part of our web authoring activity over here, it says make a copy of the home page and home page file and rename it as courses. Okay, so let's come to our folder and let's simply copy the home page. Let's say copy and let's come and paste it again. Control V should do the trick and uh, let's rename it as courses. Okay, let's rename this as courses. So let's come here and rename this. Uh, show more options. Rename it to courses. Okay. And let's open this up with Dreamweaver because we will have some changes to make with it. So let's say open with or what we can do is we can do a drag and drop. Let's drag it and drop it inside Dream. Come on. Drag. It's not dragging and dropping. So then what we have to do is make it smaller. Bring this down. Now we do a drag and drop. There you go. Yes. Okay. So now we have courses over here. Now we've, what we've got to do is open the courses file to make these changes. The page title should become courses. Okay, so the page title is over here. This should become courses. Okay, so obviously if this becomes courses, this should become home. Okay, uh, the next thing that needs to happen is over here it says uh, include a table using information from web page. So now this is a bit of a messy work that you need to deal with. This needs to be converted into a table okay so in microsoft word if you try to come and convert it into a table it doesn't come out very well can you see the columns have not got separated so you will have to manually do it okay so if you look how many columns we have one two three four five how many rows one two three four five six so insert table six columns five rows sorry five columns isn't it whoa, whoa, whoa. what happened what happened five columns six rows okay so one by one you'll have to copy and paste okay classroom sessions number of full sessions number of dives depth okay open water Rec diving deep diving dry suit okay so this is two two one 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 this is two zero 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 one Four five four four two eighteen thirty nothing forty nothing okay so we now have our table you can either create a table in Microsoft Word itself or you can create a table in Dreamweaver itself it's up to you so let's copy and paste this table let's right click and say copy and let's come into Dreamweaver let's delete this data delete this and over here we paste the table okay so we have the table option and our table has now been pasted okay so then it says create links between the two pages okay so now when I click on home it has to go to index.html so how do we do this let's select the word let's right click and let's say make it a link make it a hyperlink okay and tell your computer that it needs to go to make sure you're in the 2019 folder and tell your computer to go to the index file okay and click on OK now do not forget you also have to do the same thing in the index page okay where when the user clicks uh, clicks on courses right click uh, and click on make link and tell that the user should be able to go to the courses web page okay and we click on OK so when the user clicks on courses he will be going to the courses web page and in the courses web page when he clicks on home he will be going to the home web page okay the next thing the question paper says is save the uh, courses web page as courses we have already done it we just have to click on save so let's come to file and click on save uh, next thing is take us uh, resave the home page as index so the home page also let us go and resave it so we have the home page let's come and say file save and uh, next what do we have take a screenshot of your courses page in a web browser paste a screenshot in task a3 so courses i need to take a screenshot of it in the web browser so let's open this okay let's take a screenshot print screen let's come to task a3 
let's paste the screenshot that's also done the next thing the question paper says is display the HTML code for the home page copy and paste the HTML code into document task a3 now guys when it comes to displaying the HTML code there are two ways you can do it one is you can come to code view and you can display the HTML code this is method number one or else method number two is you can come to your web browser which is over here you can come to your web browser you can right click uh, let's refresh this okay let's right click and you can say view page source so when you click on view page source the entire coding is visible okay so for this what do they tell us to do they tell us to take a screenshot right uh, now they're going to copy and paste the HTML code so you can press Control a Control a is the shortcut key to select everything so Control a everything gets selected now you can copy and you can come to task a3 and you can paste it okay so the entire code has got pasted over here okay uh, the next thing the question paper says is resave task a3 print task a3 so these are things you can do on your own okay task a3b open a new word processing document enter your name candidate number and center number save the document as task a3b okay so let's do this right now let's come to my folder let's say i want a new word document i want it to be task a3b let's open it let's immediately down, run to the uh, header and say task a3b your name your candidate number your center number excellent uh, then the question paper says Simon wants you to make these changes to the HTML code for the home page. The text color for the introductory text should be black. Okay, you remember pre previously it was a different color, right? Previously it was 8FBC8F, right? So now he wants you to change it to 000000. Okay, and the second change he wants is he wants the page title to become underlined. Okay, so let us first deal with this. So let's come to the HTML code, let's come to the code view. And let's look for 8FB, 8FBC8F. Okay, that was the previous color, right? Do you keep, are you able to keep up with me? This was the previous color for the introductory text. Sorry, 191970 was the uh, color for the introductory text, isn't it? So let us first search for this color and then simply replace this number with 000000 because that's what the question paper has told us. Okay, so. I can see it right now right in front of my eyes but if you cannot find it okay you can simply press Control F okay so Control F is to find what you're looking for so you can simply say hashtag 191970 okay and when you say find next it will show you exactly where it is so it shows you it's over here so then what you can do is you can come and click over here and you can say change this from 191970 to 000000 okay so the first change you have made the second change is the page title should become underlined okay so if you keep in uh, what you need to remember is the page title we are making these changes to the home page okay so in the home page what is the title if you come to design you can see the title is the word home isn't it so let's come back to code view and let's search for the word home or what you can do is you can come to design view and if you select this word automatically it will also get selected in code view can you see it has got selected in code view now you need to make it underline okay and the question paper has also told you the tag that needs to be used you need to use the underline tag okay so just before the word home just before the word home type u okay the u tag and just after home close it slash u is it clear so you have opened the home tag you, so you have opened the underline tag and you have closed the underline tag so this word is going to appear underlined let's see if it's working let's come to design view yes you can see this has got underlined okay then the question paper tells you resave index so let's come back and resave it then it tells you uh, display the HTML code for the home page copy and paste the HTML code into document task a3b so let's display the HTML code let's press Control a to select all the code Control C to copy and let's come all the way to task a3 B and let's press Control V okay then the question paper tells us highlight the code to show where the changes were made so we made two changes right one was this double zero double zero let us first search for that so let's come to task a3 B let's zoom in and let's search for 0000 so once again control F control F is to find what you're looking for 
so tell your computer I'm looking for hashtag double zero double zero double zero okay there you go it's right over here so you just simply select this and you highlight it okay the question paper told you to highlight it so you highlight it the second change that we made the second change that we made was the underline tag isn't it so let us come and search for the underline tag okay let's put u okay where is it it's over here perfect so let's simply highlight this from here to here highlight okay then the question paper says uh, resave task a3b so we can resave it and then it goes on to say do not print at this stage answer this question in document task a3b state and justify one improvement you would make to your website so if i was to look at this website what is the one improvement i would make maybe i think a lighter background would make the text more visible isn't it so let's talk about that let's come over here and let's say uh, what does the question paper say S justify one improvement i would like to make the background color a much lighter color for example light green so that the black colored text would be easily visible to users okay so right now the background is dark the text is also dark so sometimes reading can be a bit difficult okay especially those who are having visual impairments might find it difficult to read the text on the screen okay so instead if you have a much lighter background then this darker text is going to be very much more easier for a user to read okay so with that we have come to the end of uh, the web authoring activity we have also come to the end of section a next we'll be moving on to section b which is dealing with spreadsheets a lot of calculations involved okay so i hope so far it's going well for you if it is not uh, you have the email address okay you can get in touch with me uh, okay good luck see you in the next video